Hello everyone, I am Krati Gupta. In this video, we will be studying about the topic polynomial representation. Okay, the content which we will be studying will be polynomial equation. Why implementing the polynomial equation? How to implement polynomial equation implementation using arrays, using linked list? So first topic is polynomial equation. What is a polynomial equation? A polynomial can, equation can be of single variable as well as of multivariable. A generalized version of a polynomial equation is a function which contains different terms and these terms are of contain some coefficient value, a single variable with different exponent value. Okay. For example, we can say that uh, this is a polynomial equation of 6 plus 1, 7 terms in which this is 4x power 6 plus 0x power 5 plus 10x power 4 minus uh, plus 0x power 3 plus 0x power 2 minus 5x plus 3. So this is also a polynomial equation and this will contain the number of terms. How many number of terms are there as 0 with the coefficient value 0 is not considered as a term. So this polynomial equation contains 4 terms. Okay. x power 0 1 uh, x power 0 is equal to what? 1. So this single coefficient value has the single variable x exponent power 0. So this is a polynomial equation. Now, why we are implementing these polynomial equation? We have different polynomial equation. We perform different operation on these polynomial equations. Some of the operations can be addition, multiplication, differentiation, integration. So to perform these operation manually will be some uh, is a difficult task. For example, let's take an example of it to perform the differentiation of this particular polynomial equation so to perform this the differentiation on this polynomial equation manually is a difficult task so to, to, to make this particular task easy we are implementing the polynomial equation and performing the operation by using machines by using computer okay so now next topic is how to implement this polynomial equation there are different ways of implementing the polynomial equation. In this we will be studying about implementation using arrays and implementation using linked list. It is said that arrays are not recommended. We will be studying why they are not recommended and why linked list is preferred and recommended. Okay, first is the implementation using arrays. Now, Array is a static data structure. So to implement anything using array, we first require to allocate the size of the array. So to implement the polynomial equation using array, we require to know priorly what will be the size of the array. So the size of the array for storing the polynomial equation will be 1 plus highest exponent value of the equation. For example, we have a polynomial equation 8x power 6 plus 3x power 4 plus 2x plus 6. In this particular polynomial equation, the highest exponent value is 6. So, to implement, to store this particular polynomial equation using array, we require the size of array as highest exponent value, that is 6, plus 1, that is 7. We require the size of array as 7. Okay, once we have allocated the size of the array, we have taken the array. Now we need to store, we need to store this particular polynomial equation in the array. So taking array index as an exponent value of a polynomial equation, we store the corresponding coefficient value of a polynomial equation to the corresponding exponent value in a array. Okay, for example, we have 8x power 3 plus 3x power 2 plus 2x plus 6. We have to store this particular polynomial equation. We have taken the array of size as this polynomial equation contain 3 as the highest exponent value. So the size of array will be 3 plus 1 that is 4. We know the array indexing starts with 0. So a size of array 4 will have the index location from 0 to 
3. So we will be storing the corresponding coefficient value. Means uh, in this exponent value is considered as the index location. Array index is taken as an exponent value. Okay. So we will be storing the corresponding coefficient value at that corresponding index location, corresponding exponent value of the array. 8 will be stored at the third index location, 3 will be stored at the second index location, 2 will be stored at the first index location and 6 will be stored at the 0th index location. Same with the polynomial equation 2. 23x power 4 plus 18x minus 3. The highest coefficient uh, exponent value of this particular polynomial equation is 4. So the size of the array will be 4 plus 1, 5. Now the array size, array of size 5 will have index location from 0 to 4. Okay, so we will be storing these terms, these uh, polynomial equation coefficient value to the corresponding index location of the exponent value. Okay, so like 23 x power 4, the coefficient value 23 will be stored as the fourth index location. 18x x can be said as x power 1. So 18 will be stored at the corresponding first index location. Minus 3. Minus 3 can be written as minus 3 x power 0. So minus 3 is stored at the 0th index location. The terms which are not present in this particular polynomial equation can be written as plus 0 x power 3 plus 0 x power 2. So the rest of the index location will have the value stored as coefficient value stored as 0. Okay, like this we can implement the polynomial equation using arrays. Now we are storing the polynomial equation using array. Then what will be the drawback? If our polynomial equation are sparse polynomial equation, that is the polynomial equation contains the high exponent value, but rest of the exponent value have the zeroth coefficient. For example, we have taken a polynomial equation as 16x power 21 minus 3x5 plus 2x plus 6. Okay, this particular polynomial equation contain only four terms. Okay, the size required to store this particular polynomial equation will be Highest exponent value is 21, 21 plus 1, 22. So we are storing this polynomial equation the, the size of array at 22. Index location will be 0 to 21 and we have stored the term as 16 will be stored at the 21st index location, minus 3 will be stored as the 5th index location, 2 will be stored at the 1st index location and 6 will be stored at the 0 index location. Okay, now rest of the space will be what rest of the space will be stored with the zeroth value rest of the index location are stored with the coefficient value zero so these all the spaces where we are storing the zero will these space are wastage okay so these are the reason this is the reason why we do not prefer array uh, storing uh, implementing the polynomial equation using arrays okay Though array also has some advantages, if we have, if we have to store non-sparse polynomial equation, then array it will be the good data structure. By using array, to use array, we can easily store the polynomial equation and we can also retrieve the coefficient value of a corresponding exponent value of polynomial equation. Disadvantages are huge array spaces wasted, time is wasted as we do, we have to check for each and every exponent value whether the coefficient value is present over there or not okay so the array space is also array space as well as time is also wasted by uh, uh, for solving a polynomial operation second is we have to allocate the array size ahead of time in some of the operations we do not know how much size what will be the size of the array for example in multiplication so to allocate the size ahead of time is also the disadvantage of using array. Next method is implementation using linked list. To implement polynomial equation using linked list, we have to create a list of node. Okay. Each node 
will be storing the x coefficient value, exponent value, and address of the next node. Okay, so the structure for a node for polynomial equation will be if your coefficient value is integer, then int coefficient, if your exponent value is integer, int exponent, and we have to store the address of the next node. Next node is also the same structure to so struct poly node pointer variable next we have taken to store the address of the next node okay the number of nodes will be equal to the terms of the polynomial equation number of terms uh, number of terms is for example let's take this particular polynomial equation this polynomial equation have only four number of terms 16x power 21 minus 3x5 plus 2x plus 6 so to store this particular polynomial equation using linked list we only required four node in each node we store the coefficient value exponent value of the term and the address of the next node the nodes are stored in the order of decreasing power of the exponent polynomial equation for example let's take an example we have a polynomial equation p1x equals to 23x power 9 plus 18x power 7 plus 41 x power 6 plus 163 x power 4 plus 3 so we will be storing this particular the number of terms in this particular polynomial equation is 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the number of nodes in this particular link link list will be 5 each node will be storing a term of this particular polynomial equation so in this first term the 23 is the coefficient value so we have stored the 23 is a coefficient value exponent value is 9 we have stored exponent value as 9 next will contain the address of the next node in next node also we have stored the coefficient value 18 as the coefficient value 7 as the exponent value next contain the address of the next node 41 is the coefficient value 6 is the exponent value next contain the address of the next node 163 is the coefficient value 4 is the exponent value next contain the address of the next node 3 can be said as 3x power 0 so 3 is the exponent value and 0 is the uh, 3 is the coefficient value and 0 is the exponent value as this is the last node next will contain the value as null okay this uh, this is always arranged in the decreasing order of the exponent value or you can also arrange the node in the increasing order of the exponent values okay but we generally take the decreasing order of the exponent value as we write the ex uh, polynomial equation in the decreasing order of the exponent value okay the advantages of using linked list implementation is it is easy to maintain we do not have to worry about any sparse polynomial Second is we do not need to allocate the list size as we can allocate node as and when required through dynamic memory allocation. The only disadvantages of using a linked list is that we cannot go back to the backward side of the list. We cannot go back and check for the higher exponent value. Okay. And we cannot jump to the beginning of the list from the end of the list. If we are using a singly linked list to implement the polynomial equation. Thank you.